this is the building which we are going to see. See the building, it's really a great building. I mean, design-wise, it's an elegant style. It's a neat and clean building. Design-wise, it's really a great one. See the parking area, see the entrance. And by the way, look at the neighborhood. See the street. One of the best street here in, in Rauda. One of the Porsche area here in Rauda. So now to this, this side. This is the again the parking area of this building. This is the parking area. See the street. See the street. It's actually the back side of the apartment. This is one of the best, and we can see the one of the Porsche area in Rauda. Rauda itself is really neat and clean as well as a very good place for the expanse to live. It. And within Rauda, this is one of the best street available. Now let's have a look at the, the roof villa in this building. This is the entrance lobby here. See the ceiling. See the walls. As well as we got on, this is the floor here. And this is the stair available here and we got the lift service. This is the lift service. We are in the fifth floor of this building. By the way, this is, this is a new building as well as very well built building and it is located in one of the most expensive and most push area in in Rauda itself, and you know that Rauda itself is a push area. So this is the part which you are going to see right now. This is the roof villa, actually duplex villa here. There are two duplex villa available in this, uh, this building. One is that one and another one is this one. So let's have a look at how it looks like. See one. Once you get into the main door, get through the main door, then this is what you are going to see. A hall, which is connected to different rooms. See the ceiling. It's neat and clean, well painted. See the door. Everything is good. Very good quality stuffs, they use the good quality stuffs here. So let me just close down the door. Now, see this one. So this is the main hall which you can see once you get inside this apartment. And here is the stairs to the first floor or to the upstairs. Now let me just tell you one by one each see. Usually this is called like the sitting room and we have a dining room here. Then we got a straight door is another room which is something like it's based upon your choice, your creativity you can use in your own way. It's just a room there. And there you can see that is a kitchen there and there is a small room inside the kitchen which is like a maid room or you can use it as a, uh, a store room. 
and there comes a wash area and there is a toilet inside uh, uh, inside that particular area which i'm going to take you there and here through this arch it is another uh, what is it the hand wash area as well as a toilet so let me just show you first this one the first toilet and that is the main door see this one a flush toilet is here as well as the basin is here see the door and there is a water heater installed by the way all the rooms comes with a split ac see that one split ac is installed in all the rooms so let me just show you now first this room this is the sitting room with very good size window on both side of the wall see this one as well as this one this one is actually taking us to i mean the the side is actually to the open terrace which is here in this building by the way we don't have a uh, access to it like it's like it's not like a private open terrace it's can be kind an of open terrace i mean it's not an exclusive open terrace by the way so this is going to be really a sunny room because we got a very good window here as well as the see, see the ceiling of the this particular room and here comes a ac the length of this room is 3.96 and the width is 3.85 which gives you 15.26 square meters now let me take you to the second room as per the design this is considered as the dining room see the ceiling of the room all the ceiling got the concealed lightings lighting fixtures and on all the rooms we got a very good i mean very good size window this is actually the side of the building here also there is an ac see the flooring it is the marble the end apartment comes with the same flooring this one is having a length of 3.97 meter and a width of 3.84 meter which gives you 15.28 square meter in size so by the way both rooms are really good in size now we are back in the main hall this is the stairs and that is our main door so this room i'm just going to show you the length as well as the width so for example i'm going to measure first this area then after that i will show you how much is going to be a total area approximate area for this area just this area i mean without this particular stairs i'm just i just measured like this this rectangular area itself is around it is 22.54 square meter in size which is really a good size area and now i'm going to show you this this much of size how it is how how much it is going to be this area is approximately in 18 square meters so this is when you compare about this area as well as this area this is going to be really a superb uh, size room uh, that is a hall the main hall of this particular apartment so let me just now take you to the other rooms to the kitchen that is the kitchen here the access is from the directly from the main hall see the kitchen see the ceiling again with the concealed lighting fixtures with a very wider double windows in both that is both sides has the windows so it is going to be really a sunny kitchen see the wall tiles
by the way it need a clean up it there are few dirts you can see that it is not so much clean in the floor so definitely it need a clean up here see the see the kitchen cabinets it is the with the wooden cabinets it's a good quality stuffs there's a provision for the cooking range and by the way we have a very brand uh, we have a brand new cooking range here this one this is actually for the for this kitchen this is a brand new one so we don't want to bring a kitchen uh, we don't want to bring a cooking range to here see the quality of these stuffs this is pure wooden kitchen cabinets see the sink it's a double sink and here we got a room which is a small room which is like a maid room or you can say it's kind of a store room this this room is a uh, are having a size of 4 square meters and now to the kitchen kitchen is having a length of 4.05 and a width of 3.95 which gives you 16.02 that is almost like it is it is a 4 by 4 kitchen by the way so it is really a spacious kitchen and we have a provision here for the washing machine so the input line as well as the drainage line so here we have got a provision for the washing machine too now let's get back to the main hall and see the other rooms this is the first room which is available here again this is just to make sure i just to show you this is the main hall again we are back in the main hall from the kitchen now taking you to the one particular room here see the ceiling see the wall and the split is is the the floor is the with the same marble this is having a length of 4.01 and a width of 3.75 which gives you 15.13 square meter so it is like a good size room 15 0.13 square meter in size it's almost near to 4 by 4 room and here we got a very good wide and lengthy window see this is to the back side of the apartment actually the back side is actually a street which gives you a very good view from here see the street here so definitely through this window you are going to get plenty of sunlight as well as plenty of air so that's it now let's have a look at the other rooms now back to the main hall and here we got an additional like hand wash area as well as a tile so ceiling so the water heater the basin is here and the flush toilet is there and here got an additional hand wash area now back to the hall and now we are going to see how are the things in the upstairs this is the, this is the stair here let's go and have a look at it see the view from here see the ceiling the split is is installed in this hall too 
Now we are in the upstairs. Here we got one master bedroom as well as two other bedrooms with a uh, small kitchen, it's kind of a cafeteria and a common bathroom. See this is the common bathroom here, the shared bath with a, it's really a big in size, see the size with the bath tub and the flush toilet is there, the basin is there and we got a water heater and here also there is a provision for the washing machine this hall this hall is having an approximate size of 40 square meters so it is really a very good size hall This is the first room available here. Let's go and have a look at it. This is like the same room which we saw in the first floor. It is just on top of it. So I guess this is going to be the same size. Split AC again here. And see the ceiling. All the rooms have different kind of ceiling design. And here also we got the same size of the window which we saw in the in the room in the first floor it is having a length of 4 meters and the width of 3.77 which gives you 15.15 square meter in size it's almost the same size which we saw in the first floor and here also we got the same view let me just show you Now we are on now we are in the sixth floor of this building. See the view from here. Inshallah, it's a superb view from here. This is the street. Now back to the main hall. Now we have three doors, that one is the master bedroom and this door is actually to the small, I mean a cafeteria, a kind of a small kitchen and here is another bedroom. Now let me take you to this bedroom. See the view. See the wall, here we got two window, very large window, one is to the same side, I mean the side which I just show you. It's going to be really a very good view from here and this is to the side of the building. In the side of the building there is another building. See the ceiling? And this is with an attached bathroom. See the bathroom with the basin with the flush toilet. And the bathtub is there. It's a half size bathtub. And there's a water heater. This is having a size of 4.05 meter. That is length of 4.05 and the width of 3.98. Which gives you 16.25. By the way, this I just measured only in this, in this core area. This entrance area which will be around two or three square meters, I didn't measure it. So this is really a great, I mean a very good size room. Now let me show you the other two rooms now back in the hall here. You can see the small kitchen, the, it's kind of a cafeteria here. There's a provision for the cooking range and wooden cabinets are there. Now, 
This is going to be the master bedroom. See the master bedroom? Master bedroom is really spacious. And see, open the door. So this is kind of like a dressing room which we can install the wardrobes or the closets and we can arrange for the dressing, uh, the dressing table, all these kind of stuff. So this itself is really a spacious room, I mean, and when you are talking about a dressing room, this is going to be really a spacious one. And here we got the attached bathroom with a decent bathtub, with a flush toilet. And the basin is also here. Now this one, this particular dressing room, having a size of 13.5, approximately 13.5 square meter, is the size of this particular room. Now let me just take you to the inside of the bedroom. See the room. See the ceiling. Mashallah, it's really neat and clean. We have a very good uh, large window there. And there is a shutter there. The hand has told me there is a remote to operate this particular shutter. That right now he doesn't have it. But he told me like once you open this one, you can see, uh, you can have a very beautiful view almost until the cornish. He said uh, we can see the big buildings in the cornish from here and it is a superb view. But unfortunately I, I didn't get the luck to see that one. Anyway, this is going to be a superb master bedroom. Having a length of 6.22 meter and a width of 3.84 meter which gives you 23.95 that is 24 square meter itself. So it is going to be a really a very good room with a, with a very good wide window on this side and a full length window on that side. So this is going to be a superb room. So that's all about this apartment, this, this particular roof, uh, duplex villa and I hope you enjoy the video and you got all the information which you are looking for, uh, which you are, uh, I hope you got all the information and I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Kindly share this with your friends and colleagues. This is the open terrace here, which is not a private one by the way. It's having a size of approximately 165 square meter. This kind of a shared one within the, the two villa, this roof villa as well as this particular roof villa. This is the roof villa which we just saw right now and that was the full length door which I show you uh, from the master bedroom. So you will have a, you can have that access to this balcony and to have a complete, you can enjoy this view, see this one, see the view from here. So this is kind of a shared one and the another advantage is actually there is a Lebanese professional who is staying in this particular uh, villa and uh, Harris told me like he, he used to be here like usually for six months in a year, six months he is travelling. So we can enjoy, uh, partly we can enjoy the superb, like the, the, the we can enjoy the, the privacy here because almost half of the here he, he won't be here. See the side from here. That's it. And this is really a superb space. MashaAllah.